today I have another unboxing video for you. This week the game I'll be unboxing is Thunderbirds, the cooperative board game. I will also show you this box containing all three expansions I got at Gen Con. Thunderbirds is a cooperative board game produced by Modifius Entertainment and designed by Matt Leacock, which incorporates 1-4 to four players aged 10 and above and plays in 45-60 to 60 minutes. I picked up this game because I was raised on Thunderbirds and knew it would be a cooperative game that my family would love. Okay, so let's get to unboxing. I haven't learnt how to play the game properly yet, so bear with me if anything is incorrect. I'm just going to move this aside so that we can see this box in its entirety. It's a very nice box. I love the artwork, very traditional. Let's just open it up and see what's inside. Of course it has all of the different Thunderbirds, one, two, three, four, and five, and of course the FAB car, which Lady Penelope drives, Tracy Island in the background. Thunderbirds 2 is always my favourite Thunderbird as a child. And they released this game because Thunderbirds is celebrating its 50 year anniversary. And I think it's just the perfect way to celebrate. Okay. The aim of the game is to work together to defeat the Hood by targeting and correcting disasters and in turn events. So first off is obviously the rule sheet. Or the rule book, should I say. It's very colourful. Quite a few pages, shows you where to place everything on the board, what everything does, how to play, explains the different Thunderbirds for those who don't know the Thunderbirds. And shows you how to play again. Seems very, very comprehensive. Tells you how to do the single player version as well, which is a very interesting addition. And all the Kickstarter backers in the back as we saw in Subterra previously, which is very interesting. I didn't actually back this on Kickstarter, although I wish I had, but I received the game at Gen Con as I would have done if I'd have backed it via Kickstarter. Place that aside. These bonus tokens here in this punch board will help you to solve events and you will receive them after you complete and correct disasters. Unsure what these tokens here do at the moment. These are different vehicles that you can build later on in the game, and you actually get full models of these later on in one of the expansions as opposed to these punch out pieces. I think this here is probably a first play marker, which again in the expansions you get a proper first player marker. This is the board. Here is the board. I don't know if I can get all of this in. Here is obviously Tracy Island at the bottom. Well, I guess for those who don't know what Tracy Island is, they won't know. All of the world. Uh, this is where you put the disaster cards. This is where you put the FAB cards. This is where the disaster cards will go as you progress through the game. This is where you place the tokens, brain's notebook. Um, up top here, this is where the HUD goes, and when he moves along, things will happen. This is where you put all the different Thunderbirds in the different places, and they can move around. It's a very interesting board. Obviously you have one of the special Thunderbirds, I believe it's Thunderbird 5, that goes up here. And he can move through these, while all the other Thunderbirds are down here. Okay, so let's see what else we have in the game. Place that aside. Lots of baggies, always useful. Although there doesn't seem to be many pieces to put in baggies. These dice, nice little dice, they go up to five, one to five on them in the respective Thunderbird colours, which is very pleasing. And then it has the hood on number six, so if you roll that, and it stays, 
then you have to move the hood along his track, which is not good. In this little bag here, we have all the different models of the Thunderbird, so I'll just quickly show you those. This is probably my favourite element, is the miniatures that I feel won't need painting. That's a stand for Thunderbird 5. Thunderbird 5. We have Thunderbird 2, which is actually interesting because you can put items inside Thunderbird 5 such as the other pieces with the mini extractor and things that I showed you earlier that you can build. Uh, you can also put FAB car in here, it's Penelope's car, and there's also this little lid that can go in there. Although now I've put it in there, I'm not sure how I'm going to get it out. <laughs> That's Thunderbird 2, hood figurine. Let's see. Thunderbird one. There we go. Here's Thunderbird three. Why does it seem to be a little bent? I have to straighten that out. Of course. Thunderbird four, I believe. Who goes inside Thunderbird two? in the TV series. Here we have Lady Penelope's car, very cute. We have all the characters, so we have Lady Penelope and all of the Thunderbirds. I never remember all of their names. In the further expansions you do get other characters, you get one of these pegs for the hood, you also get Parker. Brains, Tintin, and someone else, I believe. These are stickers to put on your Thunderbirds so that you know which ones are which, but if you're like me, then you already know. Although I may have got some of them wrong, it's been a while since I've watched it. So these are the disaster cards, and I'm presuming some other cards in here with it. So I'll just open those and we will see what's in there. Okay, so I've opened them. We have disaster cards in here. I'll just separate them out. Disaster cards all the way up to the character cards. Place the disaster cards here a moment. Character cards. And then this is, I'm assuming, where you put your own name. It's very interesting. Probably won't put my own name on that. Place that aside so we can look at the character cards. Of course, Lady Penelope, Scott Tracy, Virgil Tracy, Alan Tracy, Gordon Tracy, and John Tracy. They all have different things that they can do. The disaster cards are all cards that you have to solve. So by rolling the die, you need to obtain this number. And you need to be in Europe or air. If you have these vehicles in the right place at the right time, they can add onto your roll. There's lots of different ones of those, so I won't go through them all. And here we have a second deck of cards with all the scheme events in and possibly some other cards. So I'll open this up and I'll see what's in this. So in this deck we have scheme cards, which are put in place by the hood, as you can see the hood's figure on the back of the cards. So, so this is what you need to complete it. You need to have someone in North America with two of this type of token. And that's basically what you've done. You've revealed the hood's policeman disguise and stopped him stealing the transponder blueprints. So each is like that's one more complicated than others. This one needs to be in geostationary orbit and have all four of these tokens. Some are more than one place and have to have the mole and the laser cutter there. Same with this one, they get more complicated as they go up, they're numbered one, two, four. I believe there's also a promo set of these which are in the Board Game Geek store, if anyone's interested, I have them. The next cards we come to are these 
player aids. They tell you the information about all the bonus tokens. And on the back, you game turn, you take three actions, do any number of operations, draw a disaster card, and pass the dice. The actions are all there. You can move, rescue, plan, or scan, which is really easy to remember. Play a token for each card as the game plays up to four people. And these are the FAB cards. These are cards that are going to help you out during the game. So this is long range walkie talkies. A single player may give two of their bonus tokens to one other player, which can help you in the event stage when overcoming the HUD. These are the event cards. Again, these are to do with the HUD. These event cards happen when you reach a skull on the board, I believe. So, move actions cannot be made across the edges of the board until a player in the North Atlantic discards one of these. So these things have to happen for you to carry on, but these are all very negative things that the HUD is doing. Before I put everything away, I just wanted to show you the box. It's a very, very cute design inside. It shows little black and white drawings of all the Thunderbirds, which I thought was great. Okay. So now I'll quickly show you the expansions. I received them in this box from Gen Con. The box was $10 as opposed to paying individually for all of the expansions. Three expansions in here are Tracy Island, as it says here, Above and Beyond, and The Hood. It's going to be really hard to show you all the separate ones, given that all the cards and things are wrapped together. But here's the punch board for Tracy Island and it shows you all the different vehicles that you can get and extra vehicle tokens and it explains these extra vehicles here that you get in this expansion. That's one punch board. These provide you with extra of these special tokens so this one has like three tokens of a questionable value, so I guess that's any of these. These are two of that, two of that, which makes it a little more interesting. Again, it adds more vehicles. So you have another replacement piece that explains to you how fast each can go, so how many squares on the board it can move. I'm not sure what A and B stand for at the minute. This expansion is the hood expansion and it adds a camera, which is very interesting. Again, more of these strange tokens that we've encountered on the previous sheet. And see, so I'm assuming again that this purple backed punch board was for also for the hood expansion as it didn't specify. Now inside we also have a timer. Get that out, there's a timer. Place that to one side. These are all the cards in here. It adds more characters, more disasters, more FAB cards. These are bigger player cards, which are interesting. Disaster cards, FAB cards, character cards. Well, there's more than just character cards in here, I believe. Then in here, we have lots, lots more miniatures. I'm assuming the three different baggies correspond to the three different expansions, but I'm unsure. So this is all that comes in the expansion box. Uh, in this bag are the HUD agents. I'll open these and we can see what's in here. These are Wonga character cards, so Tintin is one of the characters that you receive in the expansions. These are single sided with the character logo on the back. They say one on. I guess these are variant characters because Brain is, Brains is introduced, as is Tintin. She, become, she comes in one of the expansions. Lady Penelope is already there. Parker, Alicia's Parker, he is introduced in the expansion too but some are already in the game, like Virgil, Tracy, Scott Tracy, Alan Tracy, etc. And after you get past the ones, the twos are double-sided and it shows on the back three, so I guess there's different information depending on which variant you want to play with. 
but again I'd have to look into that more as I haven't yet played the game. We'll take a look at the FAB cards. This deck actually only contains a few of the FAB cards at the back, so grab those out first. Because then they become event cards, which is hard to tell on the front between event cards and FAB cards, as they look very similar other than the bit at the bottom. This TH symbol here, I'm assuming, it is an indicator of the HUD expansion. So there's extra FAB cards, which are the positive cards in the game. I'll put those to one side. There is five of these cards, special actions, and then on the back it shows the HUD's actions. I'm unsure if one of these expansions introduces a possible fifth character, maybe someone playing as the HUD because he gets his own peg. Place those to one side. You can see them there. The HUD gets his own character card and more event and scheme cards are introduced. Scheme A, Scheme B, Scheme C, which correspond, I'm assuming, to these tokens. And there's the disaster cards, so I'll open these and we can check them out. So in this deck we have scheme cards. The scheme card is blank, so I guess you can create your own. Which is interesting. There's quite a few of create your own cards in this little deck. I'm assuming this corresponds to one of the expansions. And this is A B here, so you know that it belongs to the above and beyond expansion. So there's more scheme cards there. And we come to event cards. And then again, blank event cards, so you can make your own FAB cards, and again, blank FAB cards to create your own. Then more, oh, these are vehicle, these are disaster vehicle cards. I'm unsure how these come into play. But there's lots of those, no blank ones. But there are blank of these disaster cards, all five of the disaster cards here are blank for the most part, so that you can create your own, which is interesting, although I'm doubtful most people will actually create their own. So I will then assume this deck corresponds to the Tracy Island expansion, as it says here, TI, which is very useful. I will open these and we'll see what's in there. Okay, so in this deck, there is a whole full new deck of disaster cards to introduce into the game. I guess if you're getting bored of the previous ones, it provides new ones. That makes up most of this deck. And then these are also disaster cards, the hood advances, so that would be a terrible one to get. There's quite a few of those. And then there's some other event cards. Then there's FAB cards, a few of those, but not too many. Again, more disaster cards of the HUD advances, a lot of those in there. And it also introduces three new characters, Brains, Alicia's Parker, and Tintin Kairano, which is interesting. They each have their own peg to go in the vehicles as well. I'll show you those now quickly. So this bag, I believe, is for the HUD expansion as it has the HUD and all the HUD's agents and things. I'm just dropped one. So this is the HUD's peg. If you can see, it's not gonna... So this is the HUD's peg. So he can go into vehicles because then he has this building that he can then go into. This becomes the current player marker. So he's pointing at his watch, indicating that it's your turn. And he has another building that he can go to. He has his own plane and a submarine. And then these are all his HUD agents. I think this bag comes with the Tracy Island expansion because, oop, there goes Parker. True to its word, it comes with the Tracy Island. I keep dropping all of the disaster vehicles. That's a disaster. So it comes with Tracy Island, this is FAB2, which is very, very large in comparison to Tracy Island. That's my only bother with this game. 
and a plane. That's Tintin Kairano's plane. She's a pilot. So there's Tintin's peg. Here's Parker's peg. You'll see his Parker's peg and then his brains over here in brown. So they get to join the game in the Tracy Island expansion and these are all the disaster vehicles. So instead of having tokens, like I said earlier, they each have actual miniature vehicles of the corresponding letter on the bottom of them to make it easier. So that's what comes in that bag. I believe this bag then will correspond to the Above and Beyond expansion. So in here I believe are more vehicles. Let's see. These appear to have more vehicles in them. These might be the disaster vehicles. I'm entirely unsure actually. So apologies for my lack of knowledge for some pieces. They are very well detailed though. Very pleasing. Probably not too pleasing for those who'd want to paint all of their miniatures, as there are some little fiddly bits. But all in all, they're very pleasingly well made. So that's all of those pieces from the Above and Beyond expansion. And that is everything that came with the expansions. Each, each instruction booklet is here. One of them is basically just a sheet though. The, the one for Tracy Island is just a sheet. And it opens up. So very simple. So So guys, that was my unboxing of Thunderbirds and its three expansions. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Links to our board game and social media are in the description box below. Please check those out and stay tuned for more unboxing videos and reviews to come. Feel free to comment below any games you'd like to see us unbox or review and we will try our best to make it happen. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.